Hey folks, this is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. The other day I got a surprise message from a friend. Actually, he's the founder of a fairly large mastermind group that I'm a part of. And um, he kind of uh, asked me uh, something. But before we uh, get into that, a little bit of background. This particular group that I'm a part of is fairly large. Um, a lot of great interactions with a lot of different people, but it can be a little bit challenging to keep up with everybody. So uh, as part of it, we have different smaller groups that we're able to be a part of. So smaller number of people, um, you can get much more intimate in terms of what people are looking to to do, what they need help with, how you can help them, and vice versa, and just get a, a quite a bit more quality interaction with a smaller group of people within the larger larger group. So um, for each of those uh, smaller groups, there is a leader uh, of the group, we call them a leader, but really they're a facilitator uh, of the group, right? So um, the email from my friend was such that he asked me um, if I would like to head up one of the smaller groups. And um, I was a bit floored by it, quite frankly, <laughs> because it's not something that I expected. Um, I, I enjoy uh, you know, all of my interaction with uh, everybody, whether it's the bigger group or the smaller groups that I'm in. And um, it just wasn't something that I saw for myself. Um, you know, I, would, I'm, I was just really content just doing my own thing and, you know, helping people in the way that, uh, that I could, the, the way that I knew how. So when he asked me that, it kind of... Uh, took me by surprise, one. Secondly, um, I, I felt a bit apprehensive about it. I didn't know what to think because, you know, again, it's not something that I had ever thought about for, for myself and something to, to do uh, with, uh, with, these, uh, with these people. Um, and, you know, I just kind of felt like, man, am I, am I ready for this, <laughs> you know? So I told him, I said, you know, it's, um, it's not something I really thought about. Um, not sure if that's something I'm ready for. And he replied, he's like, well, you know, I think you're ready, but it's just a matter of whether you want to do it or not. Um, so I said, well, you know, let me think about it. If I could just reach out to a couple of the other current, um, leaders, that would, that would be great and kind of get their, their take on it. So, you know, it's just something where, you know, I just... God, I didn't feel qualified. It was it was an honor that he thought of me in this way, you know, some way in a way that I never even thought of myself. So I think that's the big reason that I thought that I just I'm just not ready, right? It wasn't something that I that I had expected. It's not something that I had uh, was striving for at all. So absolutely, I felt like, oh man, you know, is this something that I could really do? Because ultimately, for me, I didn't want to put myself in a position where I could let somebody down, right? Least of all my friend, least of all the people that I would be helping out. And, you know, just kind of understanding also that the role is more of a facilitator. I don't have to bring the answers. It's just that I, I'm i there just to make sure that, uh, you know, we stay on track with the different things that, that we're going through um, in, our, in our sessions. So, Maybe I was making a bigger deal out of it than I, I should have, but in any case, the feeling was still there. So um, it, was, it was it was kind of interesting. But then, you know, I I thought a bit more, um, particularly after I talked to some of the other uh, leaders, facilitators, and you know, all of them said, "Hey, we think you'd be awesome, man." Um, and that just reminded me of something I'd heard from other people, usually in kind of a religious context. I'm not a religious person uh, by any stretch. I'd say I'm more spiritual, but, you know, I, I take wisdom from all different sources. And, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, my, my friends say in that context is, you know, God wouldn't put it in front of you if you weren't ready, if you weren't able to take it, if you weren't able to accept it and, you know, make something more out of it. And, uh, you know, 
I, I after some reflection, I thought, well, gosh, you know, maybe maybe that's the case here. You know, maybe the you know God, maybe the universe, maybe just chance, whatever you might want to call it, it just put this uh, opportunity to him because I'm ready. And I think you know that's something that's could be useful, um, a useful point of view, whether it's something where, like myself right now, feeling kind of daunted by it, feeling not ready. Uh, but I think it could also apply to situations where, man, it just sucks, right? <laughs> it's painful. It's just emotionally draining. It's, man, it, you're going through a tough time. And, you know, I think even those cases, I know it's helped me in the past where it's like, you know, it wouldn't be in front of me unless I could take it, unless I could go through it, Right. So that was that was useful for me to to think about this situation. Interestingly, interestingly enough, it came full circle a couple of, of days later um, when I was in my uh, regular morning class teaching, and one of the recent black belt graduates from this year hadn't seen her in a while because of you know just kind of taking a break from the you know going through the test and the training for all that the boot camps and that type of thing. That uh, I finally see her back in my class, and uh, it was it was awesome to see her. Um, she deserved every bit of the uh, the kudos that she got for the way that she passed her test. It was awesome, and um, it was a little bit bittersweet when she did pass because I the typical the typical tran- transition for many folks in. Um, in a lot of different uh, martial arts uh, styles, is that once they hit their black belt, they're pretty much that are they're on a slow burn to be gone, <laughs> to to leave. If not immediately after the uh, you know they get their black belt, fairly soon after, and that's not something that I wanted for her for a couple reasons. One, just being selfish, and that you know I I was really proud of her, loved having her in my class, had a lot of energy, and she was very inspirational to a lot of people as well. Um, so, you know, I, I wanted to see her continue. But on the other side of it, I, I felt like she had a talent. She has a talent um, that she had just, in the last couple of years, discovered through, you know, training with us. And I thought that she could she could develop it even more um, so that it could turn into uh, something, you know, I don't know if it would be further down in martial arts and stuff, but there's always another level. And I thought that she could rise to that occasion just to, to, in terms of her own growth. And I, I just love to, to see that and love people embracing opportunities for that. So, um, I, I wanted her around and part of that was like, okay, well, and I know in my own growth, I, I had to start teaching. It wasn't enough for me to develop my own skills. I had to get to a point where I was helping other people develop their skills. And that's what I wanted for her. Um, yes, she could continue training. Yes, we'd keep on, you know, uh, stretching her in the different um, ways that she could learn. But part of that growth is also, and especially if you've got a talent already, um, developing it by sharing it with others, right? Refining it by better understanding who you are and how all of that works with you by telling other people and teaching them. And, you know, you kind of, I know I've learned so much more about myself um, after I started teaching. And this is anything. It's not just martial arts. This is across the board. I mean, I've been training, I've done corporate training, you know, uh, for, for a long time. And this is something that um, um, I'd found uh, about it, you know, kind of, Getting to the next level means helping other people get to the level that you're already at. So, and I told her this in in no uncertain terms. I said, "Listen, <laughs> you know, I know you mentioned that after black belt you're thinking about uh, leaving, but I really don't want you to leave. I think that you know it would be really beneficial for you and uh, your development to continue with this and." step into a role of helping me be my assistant for a, for a spell and um, start teaching the things that you have learned. And I said, I looked her in the eye, I said, you've got a talent for this. And this is just going to be part of developing the talent that you already have. Um, so I'm hoping that she 
really embraces my offer. She takes me up on it and, um, she got a bit emotional as, as I, I was telling her this and I, I that's not what I was looking for, <laughs> but, um, you know, and I know what it's like to, to get praise from, from other folks, people that I respect. And, um, you know, I get emotional about it too, but I, that's not the point for, of me telling her that it was just, you know, to really to drill home to her that, um, this is something that I felt that she was ready for. So, um, again, I'm hoping that she, she, uh, makes that decision and, uh, really embraces it. Uh, as for myself, I decided, yes, I am going to take my friend's, uh, offer his suggestion and, uh, take on a small team of my own. So, um, that, that's, uh, that's the end of that part of the story, the beginning of another, but with all this too, I, I did want to stress that it does not mean that success is guaranteed, right? It doesn't mean for me taking on this newer uh, role that I'm going to be successful. The fact that I'm ready for it, and I've, you know, other people have told me I'm ready for it. I've now embraced that I'm ready for it. It doesn't mean that I'm going to quote unquote win. It doesn't mean that I'm going to succeed. It just means that this is a logical step. This is a, a step that I am now ready to take and whatever's going to come is, is going to come. It's the same thing for, for my, uh, my student there is that I feel she's ready. We all feel that she's ready for it. If she steps into it, that is awesome. I'd love for her again to embrace it, but it's not a guarantee that she's going to succeed. It's not even a guarantee that she's even going to like it, you know? So that, that's kind of the, the, the other side of it as well. Yes, if it's in front of you, you're ready, and it doesn't guarantee any particular outcome. So I don't know if that's inspiring or uh, disappointing. <laughs> it's the reality, at least I found in my experience. Anyway, folks, this is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. I will talk to you next time.